Oh, we finna do a rap battle? <clears throat> We're gonna do a rap battle. Well, hey, y'all, y'all get ready for this. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Steve finna lose. Run from it, never ran from it. I'ma stand on it like a shoe sole. Ten toes in these Chuck T's. Ain't no budging me when these roots grow. Whip all black, call it presidential. Price tag, residential. Get the paper, boy, that's fundamentals. We can put it down, but you ain't got the mental. I'm with hit Paul, tell him fix the dental. Throw a bag on it, make it sentimental. With the people's champ, it ain't coincidental. Been killing this since I was Wayne Little. My motivation been stay real. Give a damn how they feel. Call this the land of the trail. Like to welcome y'all, yeah, to Stockville. Well, look what time it is. <laughs> I said I, I got I gotta go. Welcome to Scottville, Scottville. We're back on. All right, so this driver. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is important too. Now we're already spending more time on it than what we said we we're going to. Yeah. So I don't know all the facts. None of us know all the facts. Can you right? recap for people that don't know what happened? Here's what I know about real, it. Real quick. Here's what I know about it. Yep. He went down the road, well, prior to going down the mountain, supposedly, allegedly, he called dispatch and said this truck was unsafe. Dispatch told him to drive it anyways. That's allegedly. I don't know. Right. I wasn't there. Yeah. The only people that know is the two people that's in that room, because here's what we know. There's three sides to every story. Right. Your story, my story, and the truth. Yep. That's it. You got three sides to every story. So I don't know. I wasn't there. The lesson here is I'm not saying this guy's right or wrong or whether or not he should have got 110 years or any of that. That's not my message. My message is clearly what I put out on TikTok or Facebook, one or the other. If you are a qualified driver, not a crybaby. <laughs> they got we got those they out there <laughs> not somebody that shuts down a truck 10 times a day i'm but talking you, about you, you like, went to school you got your cdl you went through the training it's, what i'm talking yeah. about is you got wires showing on your tires and yeah. you report it to your boss or your truck owner or your dispatcher or whatever and he says we ain't changing the tires you can either drive it or park it right you park it that's on you hey my message is call us we got a job for you yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't do that. We have quality. We have quality equipment. We've got a jam up. I would say shop, but actually we got five shops. Yeah. And we do things right. From time to time, at any company, something is going to slip through the cracks. Yeah. We do the best job that we can do, and this ain't no hiring commercial. I'm just laying it out there for you like this. Yeah. There are a lot of other companies. That we know if anyone is looking for a job to to drive for someone that's gonna respect their their voice yeah. and they're concerned about safety, yeah. reach out to us. Even if you live far away from us, we know somebody here at this show that's gonna take care of you. Right. Yeah. And we can get you hooked up with different people. I ain't trying to make nothing off of it. It ain't about money. Nah, it's what it's, it's about is us looking out for each other as drivers and as company owners. Yeah, right. So we know people all over America that are looking for good drivers. Yeah. So go back to the message. If you have identified something unsafe on your truck and dispatch or the owner tells you drive it or park it, all right. That's on, it's still on you. No, it's the the day. Personal yeah. responsibility, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah. remember this, guys. The dispatcher ain't going to jail in this situation. Right. The driver is. Right. Yeah. Because he is responsible. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you're driving of how how many how much does a truck weigh? Eighty thousand. Yeah. I mean, regular truck. I mean, yeah, you you're driving a weapon at the end of the day. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. I mean I mean, we're not talking about all the the runoff ramps that he could have did or he could have ran out through the trees or yeah. there's a million things that could have happened. Yeah. Was he experienced enough? I don't know. Yeah. All I know is, Hey, I told you when we first got on this thing just a minute ago, <laughs> I'm cool with admitting failure. Yeah. I'm also cool with saying the very first time I ever went up one of them big mountains I was following behind my, my buddy at the time, and 
I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm I'm from East Texas. The yeah. big the biggest hill we got here is about a hundred foot high. Yeah. All right, man. We was out there in the mountains, <laughs> and I was in a I was in a ninety nine Western Star, and uh, <laughs> my buddy was in front of me. Anyway, I hollered at him. I told him I said, "Man, this thing." struggling to make it to the top of this mountain hell he was like five miles ahead of me he had a 550 cap he like five miles ahead of me up there and i had my detroit i was way back there <laughs> the old hey, detroit <laughs> i was i was out of cb range i was yeah. like i was like hey man let me tell you what <laughs> i'm way back here you gonna have to you have to slow down wait on me up there anyways i get to the top up there man i looked down i was like i ain't never done this before yeah. It's like in the middle of summer, too. Guess what? It was snow, but on top of that mug. <laughs> so not only is the first time I ever drove in snow, mind you, I'm in East Texas. Yeah. Never yeah. driven over the road a day in my life. Yeah. Man. I mean, All it's, it's hairy driving up there in a car. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. First time up. Snow and... Shoo. <laughs> That's one of them clinchers right there. That's when everything snow? starts tingling a little bit. It's snow yeah. and <laughs> So, anyways, I hollered at my buddy. I was like, hey, what do you think I should do on this thing? And he told me what gear to get in and everything. And uh, he's on that mountain. I didn't have no problems. When you, but going down it, was you, uh, you got in gear and you, did you use your, Motor brake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole way down. Oh, probably. for sure. Yeah. But the thing is, like, people get in a hurry. <clears throat> so they start out in too high of a gear. Yeah. And then, I mean, I, once I'm, you get going so fast, it's practically impossible to get into a lower gear because yeah. your RPMs, you can't get enough can't RPMs. Get yeah. yeah. And then you, you're you so heavy, like, you're coming down that thing. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what a lot of people don't realize when it, in driving trucks is it's, it's all in the RPMs and shifting. Yeah, you, you only. It got, don't matter if you push the clutch in. You ain't getting in gear. It no, don't, it don't matter. No, right. No, it ain't going in gear because you only got to like around nineteen hundred or two thousand RPMs. I mean, that's what I've been told. I mean, I'm not no truck driver. That's what yeah, I've been Steve, told. Now, Steve's not a driver. So <laughs> now I got my experience, and I, I'm plenty confident now. Yeah, I mean, I strike out and go wherever now. And yeah. I, it ain't no thing now. But you know, I think he panicked. Um, I think he thought. The thing that I the, here's where here's where I disagree with any of. I know he was in the wrong because being a driver is his responsibility. I do disagree with 110 years. Um, I I, dis, I, I, I disagree. I, think, I disagree with 110. I do years. believe that there's well, how many people died? Four. I do believe that there's four counts of manslaughter, but not not 110 years worth because manslaughter is is it's accidental. Yeah, whether you're drunk yeah. driving or you know. It's a hunting accident or anything like that. I mean, I do believe that there's something there. There's charges there. I mean, I'm thinking yeah. me, five years tops. You know what I mean? But yeah, hundred ten years. But like, I believe that there's other people that's done way worse stuff intentionally. Yeah, and haven't haven't faced yeah. right near the. I'll just leave it at this. I feel very strongly that there are people put away and when i see their charges and how many years they get yeah i think man really yeah i mean really i'll just leave it at that yeah because there's no chance for the person at yeah. that at that point in time in yeah. their life there's you, you give them nothing well i mean it was and then either. there's and and, and 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 i've got a lot of friends in there and there's no hope they, they have you take away their hope i mean they're gonna come out they're gonna be like what 90 years old best case scenario for something that wasn't even that bad. And at the end of the day, here's the biggest thing about it is, uh, man, time is really all we've got. So I had this conversation earlier with a guy at the yard over there. That's why I was kind of coming late in here. And my message to him was, he's a business owner too. And he, he, he came to me and asked me a question about something. And my message to him was, this applies to everybody. And I think I've probably said this on the show. Time is your biggest asset. Yeah. Spend it wisely. Yeah. Spend it wisely. So, example, you're going to sit around and argue with somebody on social media? Yep. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I'm saying that that person's life is meaningless. 
What I'm saying is you just invested your time, and you're not getting that back. Well, I mean, most people don't want to – most people aren't going to want to go to work somewhere for minimum wage, right? You don't want to go make, I don't even know what minimum wage is right now. You know, like eight twenty five an hour or something. So, yeah, you, I don't know. Seven twenty five, Something like that. But you're going to say, I ain't no way I'm working for seven twenty five an hour. But you'll sit and argue for three hours for free. Yeah, for free. For free. Your whole evening. You could have spent that with your <laughs> wife or kids yeah, or yeah. girlfriend yeah. or yeah. Maybe just by yourself meditating. So at the end of the day, you you are investing your time somewhere. <laughs> it's being invested. George said meditating. <laughs> I meditate. I ain't mad at it, dog. It's just, Troy don't meditate. There's no way he meditates. Well, it just it depends on how you. <laughs> um, no, I'm not I talking about that. No, I no, I don't do that. I ain't talking about that. Hey, <laughs> but I will post some funny TikToks though while I'm, <laughs> while you meditate. You said that one I posted last night. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I don't follow you, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? I ain't trying to call nobody out. But you know, I seen one of my friends didn't follow me the other day. Oh, what? man. Who was? I ain't saying his name. <laughs> Are they on TikTok? They're on TikTok? Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, man. I'm like, how are you not going to? I mean, I'm Is it me? You. It's me, isn't it? No, I'm following you. No, it ain't you. Oh, that's Steve. Right I think there. I remember who it, I think I remember who it was. He said something to me the other day about that. You know, y'all follow me. He's all beside himself. So whoever you are out there, you, you know, know, you know that you friends with Troy and you ain't following him on social media. Yeah, his his feelings are hurt, man. You feelings gotta, is hurt, man. Feelings are hurt. Man. Where's that feel? Where's that hurt feelings report? I need to fill that one of them man, things out. I know hurt feelings. Yeah, report. Yeah, we need to get some of those. Hey, so uh, before we get. Too far ahead of ourselves. We need to thank our sponsor. That's right. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> you know. Rush Truck. Rush Peterbilt. Rush Truck Center. You know, Dalton come up to me at the Christmas party, man. And he said, uh, <clears throat> he said, you know what? He said, I want you to know that it's not just that we like you guys. It's not just that we love the show and think y'all are funny and, and that we want to support, you know, y'all because we know you guys really well but it's also more importantly it's what we're trying to do with the culture of trucking yeah and how we're Good point. trying to better the trucking industry and like as a whole and like bring light to it as a as a different aspect yeah a lot yeah. Deep, a lot deeper than i think even we kind of think about you know because i yeah. mean this started as hey man let's sit around talk and be funny and have fun to man, I love what these dudes are doing for the industry. Yeah, and the channel's growing. We've got we've got uh, three more sponsors that that uh, um, we're signing an agreement on right now. That's nice. Crazy. I don't. I mean, I don't say I don't care about the money, but we ain't doing this for money. Nah, man. This is this. I is, mean, legitimately, we just paying the rent. That's it. I mean, but it's fun. I mean, that's the yeah. thing. It's like no, I I really enjoy. Yeah, I, I I enjoy the show because here's my thought. Abby and I talked about this the other day, and Stephen, you and I talked about this too. Here's 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 what I say. When when anyone gets to a position, and it's not about money, I want to make this very clear. There are a lot of people. Say TikTok, for example. You don't get paid on TikTok. I think we've made $34 in the whole 18 months we've been on it. So let that we sit. could go to like Whataburger. That's about it. Yeah. Two people. Two people. Two. I was going to say, we can't all go to Whataburger. <laughs> no, ain't you enough ain't money. It. No. Okay. But my point is, you can get a million subscribers on there. All right. So you're touching potentially a million people's lives or even more because other people, when you type in F U F Y P, you know, for your page, you know, you're yeah, going to reach yeah. other people too. So what I was telling Abby was you can, you can positively influence somebody's life for sure. Yeah. When you have a platform to do it with. Yeah. And, and it, if we can, okay, just go back to old boy that run down the mountain, you know, yeah. Here's what I said. 
if you work for somebody that doesn't believe in safety and tells you drive it or don't, I don't yeah. care. All right. By me saying that, if it, if it makes you feel like, okay, I'm better than this. Yeah. I'm not going to work for, you know, this guy's trucking company, whatever the name is. I'm going to go to work over here where, where I'm somebody. Yeah. I touched one person. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah. Right. That's my I mean, goal. The, right. It's no, it's no secret that we're all, uh, you know, pretty faithful people. And it's the whole concept of leaving the 99 to get the one. Yeah. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we've talked about it before on the show where it was somebody said, oh, you reached 100,000 people that you don't yep. even know. Do you feel like you've done something significant? Yeah. yeah. You know, it is significant. I do feel like I've done yeah. something. Yeah. Anytime you do something for anybody at any point is sig- probably more significant than people realize. Way yeah. more. Yeah. 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 I mean, Troy got recognized in Tennessee. I don't know how it was, or a couple times. Yeah, two times. We went funny. We, we went to Nashville for Christmas, went to the Grand Ole Opry, which is. Is that cool? Is that the first time you've done that? Man, it's crazy. Yeah. They have a cutout of the old floor yes, in there. Yeah. A circle. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of bluegrass. <gasps> okay. Go ahead. We got rid of the want, want button. Oh, day. See, I'm telling you. you can't. Nope. It's not on there anymore. It's okay, but but watching that bluegrass in person yeah. at the Grand Ole Opry, something else, was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I would never in my life turn that on the radio once I left. Right, but watching that on the Grand Ole Opry stage, yeah, was it, yeah, because those people you're looking at looking at them play a guitar or a mandolin or whatever, and you're going, I can't believe they're doing that. It's I cannot believe it's the it's, it's also yeah. it's also the it's also the atmosphere. It's like knowing who all's played the Grand Ole Opry. So and so we uh, to piggyback off that. So my son was with us. And he's eighteen. You know he, you know he don't care about no bluegrass. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys they're like ninety years old. The the lead singer of the uh, the Rocky Tops. He's ninety years old. Yeah. And uh, they're up there when he just. Ding, 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 you know, thrumming on that, whatever that thing he yeah. does. And uh, anyway, they the violin, I love violin. Yeah. They had one of them up there and all the whatever they had. Anyway, had a bunch of singers up there, too. He's had some newer singers, and and uh, T. Graham Brown was up there. John Berry was up there. Um, had a couple of ladies that were, that were new age, and then they had the old stuff. And uh, when we left... We were talking about it, and uh, Cade said, "I really like that bluegrass. I don't yeah. think I would turn it on the radio, but but, but live, but live, it was really yeah. cool. Anyways, it surprised me, yeah, because I felt the same way. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you see something live, it's way different. Like when we saw Bob Dylan back in two thousand on his Love and Theft tour, and I'd always kind of been a Bob Dylan fan, but like when you see it live, and you're going, man, he's really doing that. They're yeah. really doing that, and so remembering I, every lyric from." Yeah. Since the '60s, yeah, that's like when we went to when I went to Red Rock in Colorado and watched uh, Joe Bonamassa. I mean, I, I mean, I respect for the guy, but my father in law is who I went with. He was a super fan of Joe Bonamassa. He wanted to go, and I didn't want him to go by himself. Yeah, but being at Red Rock, it's just a super cool atmosphere, and yeah, it's just different live. You yeah, know? I've got it on my. I videoed it on my phone. Yeah, and I watched it back the other day with so I was showing somebody. And I was like, that's eh, okay. Oh, it's different live. But being there. Yeah. And it's, it's the Grand Ole Opry, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it was cool. Yeah. I really want to go back. Yeah. You know, I'm not a like, blues fan, though, either. It's like when we were in Vegas and uh, that dude pulled me up on the stage. It was like Frank Sinatra's been on this stage and all kind of stuff. It changes it when you kind of realize and know who stood there. Mm, you know, yeah. Grand Ole Opry. I used to watch the Grand Ole Opry when I was a kid. My grandma at my grandma's house. She made me a little, like a little hand towel, put it on the floor and some cookies and milk. I yeah. sit there and watch him, you know. Yeah. Who was a little young kid, the little bitty guy? He wasn't young. He's old guy, real. He's like a midget kind of. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. What's yeah. his name? I don't know. I don't know. He was on Hee Haw. Was he on Hee Haw? Yeah. 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 Did he's you on, watch Hee Haw? He was on there all the time. We were made to watch Hee Haw. There wasn't no. Yeah, we watched it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to watch that wrestling. That's why I used to watch him. Wrestling. 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 Hey, I was thinking about talking about uh, 
Go about these uh, completely different microphones again. <laughs> All right, let me tell you something. <laughs> I like them. I like them. Hey, they sound good. No, nah, they're, the, they're the leading. They're the best mics in the industry for this type of deal. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you a funny story. This is going to be funny. <laughs> so y'all already know, but let me, tell, <laughs> let me tell the story. So I'm sitting there the other night, and I'm like, man, we got to take this show to another level. Meditating. I was meditating. Yep. I'm like... <laughs> I ain't going to tell Steve because I'm thinking, I'm learning about this. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want to come to the table no, with with some, you know, with some knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. So I'm like, anyways, I can be a little arrogant sometimes. <laughs> From time we, all, to time. we all can. Yeah. But anyways, I'm like, I told Abby, I said, I'm going to order me a new microphone and I'm going to get one better than Stephen and Tim. What did you Google? You know, here's the deal. First how did you off, How did you know? What did no, you Google? First, first off, here's the deal. I'm glad he brought that up because I never said anything to him about it. why his ass only ordered one microphone. Knowing good and well, it's three of us and possibly four we have a Look, get. I got to try it out, okay? <laughs> Go ahead and finish the story there, buddy. So anyways, I Googled best podcast microphone. Mm -hmm. And it said... The Sure SM7. SM7B. Yep. Yeah. I can't even remember what I ordered. That's how knowledgeable I am about this subject. But he what he doesn't know is we got a mic locker over here. <laughs> no, what he didn't know. I ain't got I to that part yet. <laughs> so anyways, for the viewers, mm -hmm. I ordered this bad to the bone Sure. What is it? SM7. SM7. I'm like, I'm going to try this out. Because I hear what I, I figured, I read the reviews on it, I figured it had a little more bass. <laughs> you do have a little more it bass. It does. It's got a little bit more bass, yeah. That's what I thought. You yeah. sound thought. a little bigger than you are. <laughs> yeah, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, I got to tell you another story. Yeah, this, you need to hey, finish this one. Let me finish this story. <laughs> the next story, it, I'm telling you, you're going to laugh <laughs> at this. For the viewers, don't stop the video because this next story. <laughs> You're going to love this one. If you love this dumb story, you're really going to love the next dumb story. All right, story time with no, Troy. No. Uh, story time with Troy. Uh, All right. So, anyways, make my little order. How much is a Sure SM7? Like 400 bucks. 350 339 Yeah. I think it was 339 yeah. I ordered that thing. I was so excited. I got it in. <laughs> Come in the mail. I opened it up. I was looking at it. I did a little rapping. Wasn't nobody there. <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Y'all don't know. A little okay. unplugged action. I was doing like a rap battle. Yeah. With yourself? By yourself? I won. <laughs> I'd, assume, I'd imagine. I beat I beat the guy in the mirror. I beat him in the mirror, yeah. <laughs> hold at, on. Hold at, on. No. <laughs> hold on. You really rapping in the mirror, bro? <laughs> it was a rap battle. There wasn't nobody there. Abby came around the corner. She said, man, you're really good. <laughs> I bet she did. I said, uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Finish the story. <laughs> so anyways, I sent old Debbie Downer Steve a picture of my microphone. I said, look what I just got. He said, we already have three of those. <laughs> so, knowing now we got four. Now we got four. Knowing that our the guest, sure, our guest, our guest yeah. needs equivalent level microphone. Yeah, that's right. Knowing that the sure that was what I was doing. Hey, we can use the other ones on the road. That's our on the road mics. Yeah, we're well, just case. knowing that these were the best. That's what I ordered first, and then. Troy had to have the Elvis microphones. I love that Elvis microphone. We'll but, use them on the but road. But you know what, though? This is important, too. This will be the last time we film at this location because yeah. we have our own studio. Yeah. Yep. It's under construction at the moment, Yeah. meaning we ordered some junk off of Amazon to put on the wall. <laughs> and the table. It's pretty low budget. Yeah, it's all it's, good. It's real it's low. Look, it ain't gonna look low budget. It's real no, low budget. It's gonna look good though. <laughs> but when we move back in and we use our our four leg riggedy card table or whatever that we're gonna get from Walmart, yeah, I'm gonna go back to. I, I like that stand better. 
Let's talk about our successes and failures. Okay, let's do it. Hey. The good, the bad, the ugly 2021. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so for you, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. 2021 was good for me. I was going to say I came over here, but I've been here. I came in 2019. So it's been, it's been, it's okay. been. Okay, let me. Let me comment on that. All right. I got $5. Because I ain't a betting man. Yeah. I got $5 that says this is the longest Steve's ever had a job. Carla, no, verify no, that. No, it's not. It's not. What was your What's long- the longest you ever had a job? Uh, Delivering beer, I think. Really? Yeah. How long was it? Three years. That's a good run. I think so. It's a good run. Three years. Yeah. It's solid. But Steve, fact for the viewers. Steve has done. Steve has done everything. Everything. <clears throat> and it's been due to the fact of Steve gets. Uh, bored. Very bored. If I'm not pushed, if I'm not like challenged. Um, oh, I got some challenges for you. I, I know you do. So New Year's. Yeah, I'm telling you. And I'm, I'm down for it. So it's and it's not enjoying. Also, I can't get into. Like just the complacency of the same thing every day, like it just it, it's because you're creative. That's it yeah. drives me up the wall. Yeah. Like hit the clock, hit the clock, go home, hit the clock, and just. Do I think it. somebody I wrote a it. song about that. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I y'all go record, check that out. Record called oh, Pennies. Pennies. Pennies, yeah. And that was I was delivering beer at Coca Cola at mm-hmm. the time. Had to be at work. Whoa, whoa. You were delivering beer I mean, I, Coca-Cola? I was delivering Coke at, what? at Coca-Cola. What kind of Coke were you delivering? <laughs> Coca-Cola, man. Oh, but beer. No, I, I said it wrong. Okay, I got my CDL. I was delivering beer. Drove for R&K Distributor. That's where I got my CDL. That says a lot about that company that you stayed there that long. And, Good. Uh, Way to go, man. Rough to work. Go. Nah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> who we beefing with, bro? <laughs> so, uh. And then I moved to. I from, thought that was a clapping from Budweiser. <laughs> from Budweiser, I moved to uh, Miller because they they let me take over. Oh, route. Giglio, Giglio, yeah. yeah. That so, funny story about Giglio. I used to call him Gigolo. Yeah, Everybody. I got a. Uh, who is this? He's a. He's a. Who is this? That's a distributor. That's a, a distributor. Okay. Right. So funny story. Getting into trucking, I had zero idea that I was supposed to have a medical card. So I go to work for Giglio, driving a keg truck. And we had to fuel or we had to refill, restock uh, twice a week in Longview. And so I had to go to Longview yeah. and from Nacogdoches. And I'm coming back loaded from Longview and I make that little turn and it's a DOT man standing on the side of the road and he's just waving his arm over like this. Big truck in front of him, he kept Pulling going. Pulling you over. It, the big truck in front of him, he kept going. He's like, I ain't stop. I didn't know. I pulled over. He said, you got a driver's license and DOT medical car. I said, my what? <laughs> he said, your driver's license, DOT medical car. I said, I got a driver's license. I don't know what that other thing is you talking about. He said, you don't have a medical card? And I was like, never knew I had to have it. What's it for? Make sure you fit to drive, I guess. All right. <clears throat> so, yep. Make sure you're healthy. So I got a ticket for no medical card, but my company paid it because they were like, well, that's our fault. We should. They should have caught it. Told you you needed to have one. But, but yep. yeah, so. Um, but I was delivering Coke, Coca Cola. I had to be at work at four thirty in the morning, bro. Oh, so when I ran a bread route, we had to be at work at two no. a.m. Yeah, because you got to hit all them stores before anything opens. Huh? Yeah, because you got to load your truck, and then you got to be sitting at your first big stop at six a.m. when they open the door right or now. five. Uh, I think Brookshire Brothers maybe they open at five. I think they open at five at Brookshire's. So you get it too. It takes you two hours to load, and you have to order it. You have to load your product backwards yeah. of your delivery. I got you. And right. you have to run your route. Yeah. Otherwise, if you go, if you get something wrong, you're all out of whack. You'd be yeah. out there all day, all day loading and unloading, loading and unloading. Right. You, you learn real quick. Yeah. How to how to uh, load your truck backwards. Right. Yeah. So anyway, you make your biggest stop first. It's like playing Tetris all day. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I ran. Uh, uh, Brooks, uh, H-E-B was my biggest stop. So I would stop at H-E-B first. And I hated grocery stores, man. So do we want to talk about our successes and failures in 2021? Yeah. I tell you what, <laughs> let's... Great idea, Tim. Well, you know, I just... Whose just, idea just was popped that? in my head. I don't know where it came from. You, I'm glad... You know what you're... I'm glad you're around for something. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't. I'm still trying to figure out what you do here, but for the viewers, <laughs> Tim does all the editing, and he right. weeds out all the stuff because we film for a couple hours, and he squeezes it into like 45 minutes and makes a show. Even t- even Troy don't make it sound like you do much. <laughs> He does all that, the editing, bro. He sets half of this. He sets all this up. He, you know, he get the light. Half my in life him. in a dark room, basically. I thought yeah, I was. Yeah. You, you're doing good. I thought I did pretty good. You did great. Oh, okay. I mean, this yeah. this stuff don't just get like this. Yeah, he did good. I mean, yeah. he messes with my drum set. Yep, all day long. Hey, guess what? Guess what? I just remembered what the story is. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> when I seen the look on his face, I knew I exactly what he was I just remembered doing. what the story is. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's go. I, I told you this was going to be Story good. time with Troy. Uh, guess what we're doing next year? Like, this is not a goal. This is what we're doing. Like a week from now? Yes. Okay. Starting January 1st at, at a... It'll be Tri-State and Massey Motor Freight. Yeah. All right. Is this, this this was a little idea, but then you know anything I got to do, I got to overdo. Well, yeah. Because I like to, you know, zero to a thousand. Yeah. I cut out the hundred. That's, I why, like, we, that's I, why we get along. I like so a well. thousand percent. Yeah. Right. So there's a little bit going on. It's like $20 bet. Because he's not a gambling man. I don't know. It's not a bet for me. Oh, okay. there's a little bit going on between two of the managers over at Tri-State. Oh, okay. About um, how much mo- um, how much weight they can lose oh. in Q1, 2022. What's a Q1? Quarter one. Quarter one. Quarter one. So in the first three months. January, February, March. Got gotcha. you. Who got that bet going? Uh, Doctor Pepper and Willie. Oh, I'm finna get in on that. Oh, you are gonna love this. Yeah. So yeah, you can't you you can't lose weight, bro. You got to gain weight. I'm not there yet. Okay, go ahead. So I'm gonna sponsor. <laughs> We're gonna weigh in like the biggest loser. It's gonna run all year long. Yeah. I'm still deciding on how much money I'm gonna pay out, but it's mm. gonna be. I, I'm I'm gonna be a thousand percent on this. Really, it's gonna be a big deal. Really. So I'm about to put the gas on y'all, <laughs> boy. Give me some. Come on, keep going, dog. Give me some motive. Can I get in on it? Give me yeah. some motivation. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna do the whole like, like <laughs> before the fight, weigh in the whole thing. No, we're gonna weigh in. All right, yeah. January first. January first. We're gonna well. So you, the weight loss is, January is gonna have to be per capita because everybody weighs percentage. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it'll yeah. be percentage. Do we all, do we all gotta take our shirts off and take before pictures? No, no. It'll be however you weigh will be how you weigh each time. Yeah, gotcha. It's the <clears throat> amount of weight. So you can't yeah. come with a Purpose. bunch of coins in your pocket. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I think, I think. Or else I'm going to have to get Willie to pat you down. Check it you out. You ain't going to like that. Check it out. So I, go ahead, finish, finish, and I'll tell you what I think we need to do. All right. January 3rd, we're going to weigh in. Mm-hmm. All right. And at the end of each month, we're going to have a winner. Mm. Like you said, percentage, because it can't be by the pound. Mm hmm. All right. At the end of the year, we're gonna have a grand prize winner. Mm. So it's gonna motivate all year long. Because mm-hmm. you know, here's the thing about losing weight. I'm not an expert on it, but I've seen a lot of people through my lifetime because everybody picks on me, which is the opposite. That you know, just like everybody picks on. Let me, me say what. Yeah, it sucks being skinny. And it's let me being, let me tell you, too, you know what too. it's true. Is no. it, my, my wife is skinny like that and says it all back, the time. Back me up on this. Mm. You can lose weight. I can't gain it. Right. I'm stuck. Yeah. There's I, ways you can gain, but it's got to be muscle. Yeah. All muscle. You got to you got to pump iron. I'll much. tell you this. You got to, honest truth, you got to work harder probably than I do. Way harder. Yeah. Yep. All you got to do is kind of eat a little healthier and just do a little exercise. Nah, y'all put the money on the table. I'm finna put some, I'm finna put them in the dust. <laughs> I'm telling okay. you what but, I'm finna. But oh. here's, but here's what I know. Here's what I know about weight loss. And this is the whole truck driving community. And this is why I'm going to make this deal run all year long. This is for salary managers. I was finna say who I can get in because I'm gonna talk to you, Abby. We we might have a we might have a, a separate deal for truck drivers too. But you need to do a uh, participate. You know, it's gotta you gotta have it where it's like an entry and and you can't no nobody else can get in after a certain time. You know what I'm saying? 
you can't do start with three and then you know after the first month two more want to come in because that ain't no 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 not, no when you're signed up you signed up right and if you fall out then you you fall out we sign in contracts mm-hmm. but but uh fall out. the thing about the thing about losing weight is it's a lifestyle 100 yep. percent. you can you know you can jump into it you know full blaze and 60 days later you'd be like whoo man i did it and then the, 60 more days later, you gain more weight back than what you started 100%. with. It yeah, happens yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a lifestyle deal, and that's the reason I'm yeah. going to make this. I'm gonna make it run a whole year. That's why I don't like diets. I don't like yeah. the word diet. No, it's a lifestyle. No, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Because eating less is not going to make you lose weight. Like, you have to – No, no, no. There's you, more to it. The thing, you, yeah, you've got to burn more calories than you take in. Yeah. 100%. And I'm telling you what, I got one in the machines. I'm telling you what, it is depressing to look at how many calories – I'm not trying to lose weight. Believe me. Oh, you're talking about it I got takes a them, lot of work to burn calories. I, I was trying to put weight on, so I bought one of them rowing machines. That's not how you put oh weight on, bro. Yeah, you but, burning so much off. Yeah. Anyway, anyways, uh, yeah. you see how many calories you burn? You, you, you know did. how many? You got to row on that thing. If I, Like if I were trying to lose I, weight, you got to row on that thing for like two hours to burn one doctor. I'm going to have to admit, man, I want to see him rowing on that thing. Well, yeah. I do it as a competition because I, I get on there w- online and I race people. Oh, really? I always win first. I blow them mugs. Does it have? Walk. Does it have like scenery it's, and everything? Yeah, you're racing up a river. Man, you that's lying, cool. bro? I got. Yeah, it. that's cool. You race people all over so, the world. So, so okay. So we got to keep going on this competition thing. Like, what else is like? I guess it's however you want to lose. Well, you can't. You can't. Can't go get surgery. No, no, no. Surgery, can't, surgery. Can't do don't. illegal oh, that's, activities. That's, yeah. yeah. No, no drugs. Yeah. No smoking crack to win the game. Just eating right and exercise. 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 Yeah. Because okay. I want to encourage everybody to, to be healthier. To be just be a little bit healthier. Yeah. I mean, this is my family up here. You but know? It, like I you mean, were saying, yeah, like you were saying, though, it's so disappointing to see how many calories. That was what was the easiest, like whenever I did the lawn care, was I didn't see it. Yeah. And I wasn't watching it. I was out all day. All day. In which I. I did start dieting whenever I was doing it because it gave me more energy, but you don't see it. Like you don't feel like <laughs> you're running on the treadmill. You're not going nowhere. You know, you're out working yeah. and busy. And now here, here's the flip. Hmm. If we got somebody like myself who ain't losing nothing, but you want to gain, then your percentage of gaining, because you just going to check a box. You want to say, am I going to lose or am I going to gain? Yeah. Is your choice, whatever you want to do. Then if I gain 20% and the next guy that loses 17% at the end of the year, well, then I won. Yeah. Because I gained 20 and you lost 17. Here's what I'm going to say right now. I'm looking at anybody that's competing, whether it's Willie, whether it's Dr. Pepper, whoever it is, going down. I, I don't know if you're going to beat Dr. Pepper. Okay. He's very determined. Yeah, you don't know me, bro. <laughs> He is very. This ain't my first rodeo. And, <laughs> hey, I, I'd be willing to. I'd be willing to bet he's a very disciplined person too. He's very disciplined. Yeah, so and I'm gonna tell you what. Wait till I announce on the third how much money I'm gonna pay out monthly. Really? Oh man, I'm going all in. Yeah, I'm finna make it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now, bro. It's gonna be fun. Oh, it's oh, it's gonna be real fun. Cause I was already planning on getting back in shape. Going to bed early, I ex- waking up early. It's twenty twenty two. Now straight up, whoa. we finna change the game this year. Whoa, hey, getting up early, yep. bro. These twenty four, this twenty four, this twenty four hours fixing the. I was twenty twenty two is the year, bro. I was I'm up you. at six fifty. It's the morning. year. I agree. Yep, life is. We finna change everybody. We were talking life. about that earlier. I'm telling you, rest, man. Rest of our lives. Yep. I've been eating so much junk food here lately because I'm. I know it's finna. So. Uh, I would encourage you to eat a whole bunch more until the third. <laughs> oh, to gain more weight? Put on about five extra. Because I'm scared. I'm actually scared to get on the scale because the biggest. Oh, you gonna I, do it in front of everybody? The biggest I ever been. No, no, I ain't. I ain't tripping. The biggest I ever been is uh. Answer, talk to answer. Biggest I ever been. He's is our sponsor calling in. Is two two ninety eight. And I I think I'm. I'm that that's big. that's your peak. That's as big as the biggest I ever been. Yeah. And I feel you're like on I'm live with. Trucking with Troy right now. What up, Jack? What up, big dog? Uh, we it? got we got uh, Jeremy from Rush Peterbilt. You can check him out yes. on TikTok. He's called Jeremy from Rush. All right. Uh-huh. That is right. 
What up, Dow? You live on here right now. Yeah, buddy. I'm pulling up in here in this uh, tri-state yard. Oh, King, Texas. Oh, you decided to show up today because you we had to go eat by ourselves yesterday. Hey, you know what I told Ronnie Kelly yesterday? What'd you tell him? I said, "What kind of job is off on Monday? It ain't even it a holiday. Wasn't even a holiday." You know what Ronnie Kelly said? <laughs> What's that? I'm not off. Yeah. I said I'm not either. <laughs> yeah. Well, must be nice. I wasn't at work, but my phone was ringing, so I oh, think I talked to everybody from Tri State except for you. And maybe Steven. Yeah, you didn't talk to me yesterday. I didn't bother you, man. You were on your day off. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't much to it. What you yeah. pulling up over here for? Time to eat. Oh, you uh, taking us to lunch today? Yes, sir. Everybody or what? Whoever wants to go. Are you going down to we the Mexican have. place or what? Tim got Where excited. I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we don't want Mexican food. We ate that yesterday. Two takes hungry. Two take. He said he's two take for, for the rest of his life. I don't know if Jeremy can afford <laughs> if we go down to. Oh, Big Zach's closed this week. What? Is he? Yeah. See, look, not we, even a holiday. Big Zach's off. Damn, Damn this is all week. We can go. go to Subway. I'm good with Subway. I ain't going no Subway, man. We, not, not, not on somebody we else's tab. No we can go over there to Maybe. the. We can go to the Crawfish Shack. Whatever y'all yeah, want to do. Yeah, there we go. Whatever y'all want to do. That what you want to do, Jeremy? See? Yeah, see, we're gonna have to get us a tri-state restaurant over here in this little town because there's nowhere to eat. No, no, we're not we're not building nothing else over here, bro. We we trying to migrate. <laughs> <laughs> we migrating. Hey, we're gonna be Thanks. in our we're gonna be in our new studio next week. I'm glad. In, internet. They finally hooking up the internet today. They ain't called me yet. Like they gonna hook it up today. They are. We gonna we speaking that. I'll get me and Dalton have to come over there and uh, take the grand tour. It's pretty grand. Coming out, you 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 interior decorator by chance? Coming in and decorate it up. No, for you. but uh. I do know an interior decorator, and his name is Ronnie Kelly. Really? What? He actually has a degree in interior decoration. That is crazy. Let me find out, bro. <laughs> Let me crazy. find out. Are you serious promise, right now? I promise, oh. I promise you. Oh, yes, I sir. would have never, ever guessed that. Has a degree in interior decorating. Oh, you might want to tell him you put him on. He's calling I'm, him I'm on live. Right? I've been telling him. This is crazy. He's ashamed. He's not ashamed of it. I ain't nothing to be ashamed I would, of. I'm not saying you'd be ashamed of yeah. it. I'm just saying I would not have guessed that. <laughs> not at all. Uh, I never guessed it either. I wish we I could decorate. One day and it got brought up. Uh, you, I see the look on Tim's face right now. He hates these phones recording doing this. No, I'm fine. Do you? Mm-mm. Doesn't make it harder. Please leave your message for. Wow, oh. we need Bluetooth. Ronnie Kelly ain't going. It is Bluetooth if you it want. It is Bluetooth. You just didn't. It's got it. a Bluetooth it in. You just didn't Bluetooth. We didn't connect it. Yeah, we'll do that next time. Mm-hmm. We gotta get that whole phone hooked up. Yeah. I don't even know the number to the whole phone. Uh, I don't even want to know. No, nah, neither. You ain't finna. Do, you ain't finna put brush me off. If I don't know you very well, you getting the red phone number. <laughs> red phone number. So, uh, yeah. Now I'll text back. Yeah. I mean, and I and I'll talk on it sometimes. It's yeah. kind of like you know, uh, Mike Jones' phone number. Yeah. Two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. Get Mike Jones up on the low. Look at oh, Troy going today. <laughs> yeah. Listen to him. He got his mic plugged in. Rapping. Yeah. Huh? Boy. Is he holding one earphone? Hey, back then, hoes didn't want me. Now I'm hot, hoes all on me. (laughs) That's how you do it, right? That's how you do it, right there. Oh, you gotta hold it. I need my, but I need my sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Get in my zone. All right, we gotta build some of those drop panel shades. That's what we gotta do. Yes, with some lights underneath them. What's he talking about? Yes, some chicken lights on them. Yeah. What's he talking about? We gotta get Need that some done. sunglasses with some drop panels and Boy, y'all stupid. lights under them. Y'all stupid. Stacks. <laughs> that would be actually pretty funny. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. That would be really cool. They would sell, too, at truck your, shows. Yeah, but you need you need to frame. All right, you got to watch this, Jeremy. You got to watch later when we post it. But you need the sunglasses to, you need the exhaust to come out and go <laughs> a, around your bill of your hat. 
Otherwise, yeah, it, absolutely. if it goes straight up, it's going to hit the bill of your hat. So it needs bro, to come out. He's what already, are we talking about, bro? He, he's already thought that through. <laughs> what are we talking about? Man, and you got to. Are you serious right now? You, you want to make some. Little, tr- yeah, man. Pen, Y'all are out of control. A vape you, pen, and when you blow out the vape to pen, a vape pen. The stats. That's a good idea. Now we're talking. That's a great idea. Man, y'all better shut up. Don't put this on the air, man. It, Somebody else going to steal it. Two, two uh, of the bendy straws painted, sticking up. Chrome. Turned out. Chrome. Mm. Chino tips. Chino tips. And Maybe some boo hauler. I don't there. know. You could have yeah. You could have some boo hauler. Boo hauler. There we go. What's he going to call them? Yeah, we got to start working on that. Hey. Let's get back on topic real quick, though. All back right. on topic. Right, Jeremy, I'm we'll hungry. call you right back. No, no, hold up, oh. Jeremy. No, don't hang up, Jeremy. You, we're going to put you on the spot. Live, oh, on the, live on the show. Before we sign out, let's put it on record. What's your number one goal? Realistic. What's your, what's your real number one goal for 2022? Since you're the guest on the show. Oh, Lord. That is on the spot. You got to have a goal, man. man. Always. Remember, you only get bigger and greater things than I did last year. That's not, that's cheesy. No, that's, that's not. not that's right. not approved. No. Okay, okay. So, all right. That is not Troy trucking with Troy. Troy no, no. Okay, let's do this. Hold on, somebody's calling. No. All right, let's do this. Let's go around the room, Jeremy. You go last. <laughs> Oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, you go. You looking at me? I know where you're starting at. Yeah. Oh man, I hate this kind of stuff being put on the spot. What was the question yeah, again? Right. What we do? What's your goal for? What's goal for 2020? Okay, I got you. 2022 goal. I got you. Man, are we talking like how? What, as in what? It don't matter. Career, financial. What it we talking about? It doesn't matter. Um, grow. Get a deal on our show. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be cheesy as can be. I know it ain't about money, but 2022. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make 250. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> now nah, I mean on on the. Nah, I'm not talking about from tri-state. I mean that's, you might be on your way, but I. I don't. Maybe it's a good goal. You know what? Goal, it's your man. goal. You can have whatever goal. Whatever you want. goal you want. What's buddy? my goal in Troy? Where, where I'm going financially <laughs> in 2022? Break me off, dog. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm going to win this weight loss program. So, I don't know how much money that's going to be. That could be a good goal. But you could say, I want to lose 35 pounds. Or, nah, I ain't, that, that ain't. I'm trying to. Nah, yeah. I don't know. Hey, that, hey that's, I'm with you right there, Steven. Oh, no. I'm no, I'm no, fixed. Jeremy. You remember last time you went on a diet, you got real sick? Yeah, I got the gout. <laughs> Oh, no. You can't just eat a bunch of no, steak, man. bro. No, I lost you, too much weight. No, <laughs> no. You know what I'm going to say about that, Jeremy? Just just be fat and happy. Just, just be fat and happy. <laughs> for real. You know what, man? Uh, I'll I say this. My goal for 2022, outside of success in in, in business or, or financial or anything like that, is just uh, keep my house moving in the right direction. You know, my kids come up. You know, and progress and learning and and uh, and just be happy and just enjoy what we're doing because that's the honest truth. My goal is to just keep doing what we're doing and and just enjoying life. That's good, honest truth. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. You know, go Tim. I'd say mine is to uh, wake up earlier because I figure if you wake up earlier, that, that, okay. So for the viewers, that is a very aggressive goal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, because, and I, I'm not joking nah, about sure. that. I think if you wake up earlier then a lot of things will kind of work themselves out yes, because you get, a, you get a, a better start. Yeah. The other one is to get more focused and then to, to get more wise so I can make the right decisions. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. What'd That's you good. What you got, Troy? All right, so my goal is much like my daily goal or my daily walk. And so ultimately, if I sum it all up into one little – part it's sort of like what we already talked about on this show Mm -hmm. but i want to amplify how much good i can do with my influence Mm. yeah 
That's a short way of saying it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Whether it's through inspiration or whether it's through knowledge or whether it's through information, and the best way of doing it is this show. Right, right. Because if I, I, I mean, it's not going to be TikTok because all I'll do is post truck videos. Right. But I can, I can positively influence people's lives. You can influence lives a lot of people on one, this show. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. That's what I hope. And I'm going to add one. I want to, I want to influence and help people along the way too. I want to pay for people's more, people's groceries more. You want to pay for more people's groceries? Yeah. You know, if you're like, you're in line and somebody can't pay for the groceries. Now that's dope. Cause I want to Christmas shopping the other day. I almost did that. Yeah. And, and yeah. I didn't, and I kind of felt like I should have, it wasn't necessarily groceries. It was just Christmas. I think for, for a mom, she didn't have a whole lot and I should have done it. And I, any other normal time I would have, I will say, and I didn't, I will say I buy a lot of dinners. Yeah. For yeah, yeah. People. Yeah. I don't grocery shop because we do the Kroger app and then we just go pick it up. Yeah. So I'm not in that situation. But I will I will say, if I'm at dinner <clears throat> and I feel up in here, up in her. you know, Jeremy, I'm pointing at my heart. <laughs> if I if I feel uh, like because I'm always watching people. I yeah. mean, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I never just focus on one thing. I'm always watching people. But if I see a family, or if I see a you know a veteran, or if I see an officer, or firefighter, or whatever, yeah, I don't always pay, but most of the time for that situation I do. But like if it's yeah. a family, um, but sometimes you have to be careful too, because like if it's a single mother, and I've ran into this, and I have the purest of intention. They'll get kind of offended. If yeah. it's like a single mother with kids, I have had, and I never tell people that I did it, but sometimes they'll just figure it out. But a couple of times I've paid for like a single mother with kids. Man, some of them get mad because yeah. they don't want a handout. And I'm like, no, it's not like that. Yeah. I don't want anything back. Yeah. That's why you just got to pay the bill, right? Like uh, a lot of times if I do it, I do it like when I'm leaving. Yes, and then I I'll get, leave. I say, hey, will you bring me that table over there? Yeah. And they'll bring it. I'll pay yeah. When I'm paying and I leave, so then they never yeah. know. And that's, I mean, that's the. Yeah. And anybody who's watching, if you feel the that your heart, you know, is is making you want to pay for a family or a single mother or, or whatever. Yeah. Man, don't tell them. I'm nah, no, nah, because it, it, uh, it changes the whole dynamics. It changes the dynamics. Yeah. It yeah. changes your intentions. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. You don't do it for a pat on the back. No, you don't get a thank you for doing that. No. Nah. All right. And I'm not looking for a thank you by by saying this right now. I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm. What I'm. My purpose of saying this out loud is to hopefully yeah. you know influence I, other people to do good. Yeah. But man, don't and go over there and say I did it because sometimes it's, it'll backfire. And on it's you. not always. It's not always financial either. You know, uh, I was in New York one time and I seen this old lady at the post office and she had a flat and, uh, my partner in New York that I was staying with, I mean, he's from New York, like, and they just function different in the big cities. But he, uh, I, I said, man, I need to help this lady change her flat. And I go over there and change this old lady's flat for her. And he literally looks at me and goes, how much you going to charge her? <laughs> what? I said, I'm not charging her nothing, bro. He's like, what do you mean? You going to do that for free? I said, that's what we do in the South, man. You don't, it's, it's yeah, hospitality. Yeah, that's what you do. You know, so paying it forward doesn't necessarily have to be buying somebody something or, or yeah, you know, anything like that. I mean. Yeah, speaking of paying it forward, what, didn't somebody buy you something? Man, they the, did. So, what, what'd they buy you today at the at the So I pulled through, drive to, give, I pulled through to give me a drink and, uh, and then I, I decided I wanted the taquito too because I was starving this morning. I've been trying to not eat breakfast and I was starving and so. I seen the dude say something about get the dude behind me. Man, I pull up there. You know, I ain't the lightest fella in the room. I pull up there, and this dude done bought a chocolate shake. <laughs> Who eats chocolate shakes for breakfast? And Extra it was, large. It was, it was a big. big chocolate and let me shake. tell you how this works. He gave to you. Yeah. You didn't want it. Yeah. I said, I'll take it to my boys. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody wins. I think I happened? hear. Them. I think I hear them now. They're like, doing <laughs> donut. <laughs> that shake was this big, man. Nah, but what what happened was Troy They're seeing said, noises. What happened was Troy said they ordered two two extra large coffees, and he's like, straight up, she brought two extra large shakes, chocolate, chocolate shakes. shakes. I'm like, I don't even know. So. 
All right. Hey, so right, before, we wrap it up. before we sign off, give us a goal, Jeremy. A real Let's goal. Think. I've been thinking. So I guess my goal is through work to grow, learn, you know, with uh, with Dustin's passing, I'm learning new things and, you know, learning a new job. Oh, I and it, I want to finish that out, you know, learn, learn all I can learn about that. I want to meet new people. And uh, me and you talked about that, Troy. You got some people you're going to introduce me to. Yeah, and, buddy. Uh, and at home, you know, just uh, – we got this little baby and my two boys yep. and we're just trying to grow with them and learn and, and, uh, and keep them going. Man, that, right those, are, those are some excellent goals. And the thing too, like talking about the baby, like saying it's not financial always to pay it forward. Like that's not, that's not his kid. He didn't have to take no, that sir. kid in. That's his form of paying forward too. And like making a difference in the kid's life. Oh yeah, that wouldn't. No, I, no I'm gonna tell you. I, I, I'm gonna tell you uh, something about Jeremy. Um, as long as we buy parts, I'm not. I hate to say it like this, but if you come to our yard trying to sell us truck parts, you're really kind of wasting your your time because <laughs> as long as <laughs> as long as Jeremy's price is competitive to anyone else's. And it always will be. And it always will be. Jeremy will always sell us parts because Jeremy is genuinely a good person. Yeah. 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 Boy, that says a lot. That. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we move, man. It's just. It, it, it's it, called loyalty. Yeah. Even if it was. Absolutely. Even if it's a dollar more. I mean, it's just one of them things like Troy did it with me. I Because I, when I come in as marketing guy, I was like trying to get the cheapest things and trying to do this and that. And he's like, look, if we got to pay an extra dollar or so. Or to be local and somebody, yeah, I'm all about that. Well, we that. did that with the hats. The yeah. hats are a dollar more to buy here versus somewhere we don't even know the people. And I'm like, yeah. look, I'll pay an extra dollar a hat yeah. to shop in Nacogdoches. And it's turned out to be a great relationship. He's the sign company, and he yep. wanted to be part of yeah. sponsoring with, show, with shirts and stuff for the show. And, like, he sponsored shirts for our Christmas party for all our employees. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's that been shirt good. right there. Yeah, yeah, this, this was a... Uh, Sponsored by Dolphin Print. That's a good looking shirt so, too. Yeah. 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 Yep. So, Shout out to our friends at Dolphin right, Print. Man. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna wrap this uh show up and then we're gonna meet you down there um at the Crawfish Shack. I'm waiting on you. Okay, we'll be there in a minute. You wanna run one, one more yeah, time? I need to run it one more time. All messed right. up. All right, here we go. i I messed up my, my lyrics, man. Can't oh. do that. Oh, we finna do a rap battle? <clears throat> we're gonna do a rap battle. Well, hey, y'all y'all get ready for this. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, Steve and lose. You you got me? All right, man. Where are my sunglasses at? Who go first? I go first or you go first? You go first. I'm going to wax that. <laughs> I'm getting in the zone right now. It's been so long, I might not even remember how to do it. Mm. Oh, my Lord. He ain't choking. Oh, my God. He was cold on that snap landing. That's pretty good. Oh, my Lord. R.I.P. Young Dolph. I liked him when he was alive and nobody else knew who he was. Yeah. Now he was blowing up. Oh my God. He be smoking. Oh my Lord. He ain't choking. He gon' go. Any moment. Run from it, never ran from it. I'ma stand on it like a shoe sole. Ten toes in these Chuck T's. Ain't no budge me when these roots grow. Whip all black, call it presidential. Price tag, residential. Get the paper, boy, that's fundamentals We can put it down, but you ain't got the mental I'ma hit Paul, tell him fix the dental Throw a bag on it, make it sentimental With the people's champ, it ain't coincidental Been killing this since I was Wayne Little My motivation been stay real Give a damn how they feel Call this the land of the trail Like to welcome y'all, yeah, to Stockville Oh my lord yeah. Well, look what time it is. <laughs> I said I, I got I gotta go. I thought we I got a very important meeting. I thought I gotta we was gonna go. have a rap battle, man. Hold on, hold on, run it. Like a speaker, haters bumping like tweakers, acting like you want the beef, dog. I'ma give it to you like Ethan. I, I'm hungry, Pull up man. On you like I a got feeder. to go. Fast, homie. I'm a speeder. Way I give you this word, dog. You would swear to God, I'm a preacher. That you in them bleachers. <laughs> Pay attention to the teacher. Been getting them checks from Nike. Ain't talking about no sneakers. I'm going to quit. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the show. Yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell, 
and you might catch another freestyle <laughs> from me next time. Oh, man. We we're going to have to go in and write him a custom track is what we're going to do. We make yeah. it happen. I'm starving, man. I can't do it today. <laughs>